Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everybody. So, CW has launched their trailer for Batwoman. I'm not going to watch a Batwoman show. Um, I used to be a big Arrowverse fan when it first started. They had great stories. They had awesome action. I loved The Flash. I loved it all the way up to after the Savitar arc. Then, to me, it just started falling apart. But, um, I loved Legends of Tomorrow, where they did the whole uh, Spear of Destiny thing. After that, it started falling apart. I even liked Supergirl for the first couple seasons. Then that one started going way SJW. And it's like, you guys are now just pushing agendas. And I was looking at the trailer for Batwoman... Ruby Rose, she's a great actress. She really is. And I liked it up to a point until she said, or she asked that they need to fix the bat suit. The suit is literal perfection. It will be when it fits a woman. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This immediately screams agenda. Then the last line of the trailer. Everybody thinks he's back. I'm not going to let a man take credit for a woman's job. This is why the CW lost ratings. Because they went SJW. And I will not support an SJW agenda. I won't support an agenda that is political on even my political leanings. I go to see entertainment like shows and movies and whatnot. I don't care about the politics. I don't want that crap in my movies. Or shows, even. And... Hold on, get a little lint here. But anyway... I just want a good goddamn story! So, them doing this whole... I mean, what would have been a better line is... It will be, once it fits me. That would have been a better line for her to drop! Everybody thinks he's back. I'm going to have to show them that it's not Batman, it's somebody else. That would have been a better line. Those are generic, they're not SJW, that makes it better. So yeah, I'm sorry CW, you lost a fan a while ago. I was hoping that you would have learned after your ratings dropped that you would be getting, or that... <sighs> That you would have learned your lesson. But you didn't. And now you've completely... I'm not going to watch the CW anymore. It's a useless channel. Truth is, I might be getting off of TV 100%. I see no interest in TV shows anymore. Because they're all frickin' politically motivated. Last good show that I seen on TV that didn't have an agenda was The Mentalist. That was a great freaking show. Oh my god, was that a great show. Simon Baker, man. He did it well. And the show ended perfectly. And that was... Damn. Uh, six years ago that show, I think, ended... But that Yeah, that was a great show. But the point is, with all of this SJW nonsense, the identity politics, getting into shows, you're turning fans away from you. Because you're dividing fans. You're doing tropes that eventually lead to insults to fans and whatnot. So yeah, Batwoman, not gonna fly with me. I'm not... I like Ruby Rose. She was great in John Wick 2. She was great in The Meg. I haven't 
seen her in other movies, I don't think, but from those two movies, she was very good. She was very good. It was an odd name choice for her in John Wick 2, but, eh. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the whole Batgirl trailer thing. And if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you're new. Share the video. Give a comment. Comment your thoughts on the what you guys think of the Batwoman trailer. I encourage opposing thoughts as well. I'd love to have a discussion with people on this. But keep it civil. That's all I ask. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, and I'm going to talk to you all later. Have a good one.